And we're back on the frenzy to check in with the Conestoga Valley Buckskins at Lebanon. And the Buckskins score early and often in this one. Jaden Johnson right up the middle for a three yard touchdown. Then it's going to be Achilles Mobley. He's going to find a gap in the defense and he's going to break off a gain of about almost 20 yards, 18 yards total. Big old hole right there as they bring him down from behind and they are in business taken down by Lebanon's Nathan Trace. They move the ball on the ground and they also go through the air. CV's Liam Cheek completes a 45 yard touchdown pass to Malachi Santana. Good throw right there. I had a step on the defense and Hits him in stride. Then the defense is pretty strong for the Buckskins as well. Shamir Hernandez and Jordan Sensenig. You know, they get the tackle right here to complete a nice defensive stand. Buckskins in a big way. 56 6 is your final. Central York, known for high octane offense in recent years, they're proving they're tough on both sides of the ball, allowing opponents less than 10 points a game in the first half of the year. They've run their win streak to five games, 18 consecutive in the York Adams League. Incoming tonight, a Dallas Town squad that has been building their confidence. The Wildcats have won back to back or tied with the Panthers. The top of the York Adams standings. Good crowd at Central for this one at 7-3. Panthers on the home field. They want more. Brooklyn Nace fakes the handoff to Carter Vaughn and then swings it out to him. Look at a spin move to shake Michael Scott, but only briefly. He hangs on and brings down Vaughn after he gains a few more yards. Later, Nace pivots and rolls out to his left. He's going to throw this one across his body and not quite get enough on it. Guess who's there? It's Scott. Jumps up, snags the interception in the end zone. D-Town takes over and averts disaster. Coach Janchik says, no problem. Keep him right here. Don't let him go anywhere. And I like this play call from Dallas Town. The fake to Scott, then the pitch inside. A strong run, but you just can't go through four guys. Panthers with a gang tackle and forces the Wildcats to punt it away. Next possession, the Cats keep them from scoring six, but this time Central trots out a guy we just did a feature story on. It's junior kicker Matt Parker. Look at the distance on that 35-yard attempt. Plenty of room to spare. He boots three field goals total. Cats kick two of their own in the Panthers. 23 to 13 victory. The high school sports live crew of Gary Sutton and Four Chapman are there from start to finish. And join us now to recap the action. Out here at Central High School tonight, guys. Gary Sutton, Fort Chapman with you. What a game we have between Dallas Town and Central. Dallas Town took the early lead 3-0. Central came back with a nice touchdown to Preston Fink from Brooklyn Nace. But then it was a battle of field goals throughout tonight. We had five field goals in this game tonight between Matt Parker and Wazee Maya. And, man, you don't see that in a high school game for Chapman. No, you don't. And I'll tell you what, the other thing we saw was a Dallas Town team that came in here as big underdogs, and they – battled for four quarters and almost pulled this one out. Yeah, Dallas Town really did a great job. They were down by uh, a seven at the half, but then they fought their way back, held central to field goals on a couple different occasions and had a chance to win at the end. There was a huge penalty late in the game that really cost Dallas Town. They thought they had stopped central on fourth and 25, but it turned around. Central got in for the touchdown, and that was that. Now, the guy who's a star for Central tonight, all night long, as he normally is, Jules Goff, the Pittsburgh-bound uh, first uh, division player for next year, he had 212 yards tonight on 47 rushes. To say he was their offense tonight would be the understatement of the year. No doubt about it. Goff is a heck of a football player, and Central had a little bit of an ugly win, more miscues than they're used to, but Jerry Janschek's squad, a sign of a good football team. When you're not playing your best, you find a way to win, and they did that tonight. Part of the frenzy on a Friday night here on Fox Central. Big winner, 23-13 to in a grinder game. They stay undefeated for the year at 6-0. Back to you guys. Oh, appreciate it, fellas. And looking ahead to next Friday, the High School Sports Live crew will be at Wilson against Hempfield. Game gets underway at 7 p.m. You can, of course, see all the action from start to finish on Fox 43.2 and Fox 43 Plus. Coming up, can't forget about Thursday night lights. After the break, we head to Chambersburg to see if the Trojans could defend home turf against Cumberland Valley. That is when we come back.